Welcome back to the midweek edition of the Breakfast Show, supported strongly by Let's Live Breakfast Day One. Reminding you at exactly 8.30, we will take you to the traffic and to be talking about Nana Otusri. After 40 years of reign, what aspired, what inspired, and what we are aspiring to see. It will be a repeat broadcast, but you just have to be a witness of that. But I understood. Let me tell you a few things. The next time you hear the word Yawa, okay, no, let's start from this one. <laughs> Young and wise achiever. The next time you hear the word Yawa, someone use this word. Or oh, the rest that you hear someone use this word. To have the positive out of it. Be young and be a wise achiever. Opportunity knocking, that is okay. Apart from OK meaning Ochamipa, it also means opportunity. There are thousands of opportunities available to us every day. Just say yes to the next one uh, for opportunities are knocking. So, you know, opportunities doesn't really come but once. Maybe some opportunities come once, but another opportunity will come. And I'm reading this from a book of inspiration that says, Inspirational Kitchen. I love the part that says, Warning, you will be deeply inspired. I have in the studio the author of this pocket book of inspiration, in the person of Bernard Kelvin Blythe. Uh, good morning, Bernard. And uh, welcome to GTV Studios. You, you had me, you had me twisted when I saw orange. Actually, this is the orange orange on the cover. And then I saw kitchen. I thought I was going to have a menu book, <laughs> a book that would tell me which food to cook at what time and with all the ingredients. So what's, what's the composition of all of this and what exactly is the message behind this? The message is simplicity. Discover 30 ingredients to spice up your life. So just like going to the kitchen to put up things together with the spices and cooking something. So in, in life, you cook up your life by the words you feed yourself or by the things you do to feed yourself when you're cooking. So this is an inspirational kitchen where you cook in words to inspire you. So um, I see a couple of inspirational words from the Bible, one from First John 3. Uh, I'm wondering what it's all about because it looks different. Make I blow you pink. <laughs> I, over, uh, I eavesdropped on Heaven's conversation this morning. My party, for the angels, they talk. <laughs> More things give you and all that. F favor, John. What, what, how? Why is this? Because I see first John. First John. Um, those, those are for extra reading. But the, the texts are not from exactly for extra reading. And that scripture talks about God has given to us all things and taking us away. So that something that everybody can carry around with your pocket size in your bag of wallet, that any at any point in time you can draw some inspirations on the go. So you pray through with your inspirational text messages, like acronyms that you read some, and there are uh, lessons of life, things that I've learned and I believe it's worth sharing to people to learn from. And because said that you, you we all will not live long enough to make those mistakes to learn from, so you learn from the mistakes of others. And there are 30 books to read for mentors to learn from, so there are some classical books that I believe people need to learn and read from, and there are some authors and some quotations to as well, too. Finally, I see I see a place where you've written um, te, uh, 30 inspirational acronyms. Is there a special reason why you use these acronyms these days? N O Smile, Smart, Flash, I, OK, and all the rest. Uh, yes, some of them are just commonly used words here that uh, mostly have negative connotations. So looking at the positive aspect of this, like when you read Yawa, then you like. Everybody you don't want to be to hear the word no. Like people reject it on accept on love. But when you see no, let's look at the positive. Next option. So when you the next time you hear no, don't be so mad about that. Who's the next option? There's a fucking next yes, option. There's, like there's an okay that. coming. <laughs> <There's no laughs> it doesn't really make you yawa. Yes. <laughs> so if it's a mistake, you just have to be smart. <laughs> oh wow. So um what 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 next? Um this inspirational book coming to us from you. What else are you supposed to do? 
supposed to look like this video of Sadat Yusuf, the author in the making, the first book, and the second 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 book, and so what's your favorite one? Which one? <laughs> My favorite one. Uh, I, I love mothers for women for their unique role. So my favorite for that one is mother. Oh, okay. And uh, another one is mother. How come I didn't see that? <laughs> <laughs> and so all mothers out there, this is for you. Mother uh, acronym as magicians out there having extraordinary powers to raise children. So th- that stands for mother. M-O-T-H-E-R. So you hit your pillow and you think about all these things. Yeah, I do think and I do look at that as the best of life and so this time. Okay. So the best for mother and the one that can leave the idea so well. Congratulations to you, uh, Bernard. Are you going to launch the book? Are you going to already? It's on sale everywhere? Yes, it's on sale online at shop.com. The shortest pencil is better than the longest memory. When the idea starts flowing, especially at all places and times, get something to write it on. Put your plan on paper. And this is called writing down. Congratulations. More coming up. Stick and stay with us.